Hi mate, give me your full name. Mark Anthony Clutton. And just tell us your story. Um, the story basically is um, I was in Kingsway House 12 months ago. Um, from there, I, when I first moved into Kingsway 12 months ago, briefly, I was between six and ten bags a day. I brought myself right down to like a bag and a bag of stone a day. Kingsway shut, ended up back on the street through no, no part of Kingsway. But my habit went back up again to like maybe ten, ten bags a day. And how did you fund the, the habit? Um, sitting down begging. Um, okay. Not asking people for money, wishing people a good day. Um, the Cotton Street project's opened. I've been in here a week. Um, I had cuts all over my hands, which weren't healing. The healing, as you can see. And, and you got a, a, a neck problem as well, haven't you? Yeah, I've got. Um, I had an abscess on my neck. Yeah. Which is is virtually near enough cleared up. Um, is that because you, you're injecting your neck? No, no, no. I've, I've never injected in no. my neck. Um, okay. An abscess, you could be injecting in the leg and an abscess yeah. could end up in your thigh. Okay. It, could, it, it travels. Okay. Um, I come into the Cotton Street project, I was using roughly between eight and ten bags. Yeah. That's 20 bags a day because I was using a bag of heroin a day and a bag of crack a day between ten bags of heroin and ten bags of crack a day. A day. A day. A day. A day. My God. Now that's come down. Truthfully, um, to two and two a day. I use wow. two bags of heroin a day and yeah. two bags of crack a day. Yeah. And I use that as what we call a speedball, um, put them both together. Wow. So I'm having two hits a day. And how long have you been on gear for? On gear, since I was 22 years old. And how old are you now? 43, wow. 21 years. So this um, is like your last chance here, isn't it? This is make or break for me. If yeah. I don't do this, then I'm dead man this time next year. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to make it. No. And I, I, this is just me being realistic as well. Mm. Uh, it's facing up to facts. I'm 43 years old, and I yeah. need to change my life. And this is going. This is the best opportunity for me. This Cotton Street project. Do you remember when you first came into Kingsway House and you were really, really cold, and you, you lay yourself on the radiator? <laughs> yeah, uh, that, 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 that that was the pivotal moment for me when I watched you get on the radiator and, and you spread your whole body on the radiator and you stayed on there for two hours and you never moved. Was it? Yeah, I and, remember and, that. And you yeah. were thawing your body out. Yeah. And I it thought, was, shit, is, is this what it is? Freezing it was. Yeah. Oh, and I shit. think, and the, again, this is me just being blunt and true. Yep. I think if I had not come into Kingsway last year when I did, I don't think I'd be here today. I think I would have died last year. I agree with them. Yeah, I, I definitely do. Um, yeah. Each time, Kingsway is, was, um, what's the words I'm looking for? Um, Kingsway was a break for me mm. back then. But Kingsway was, how can I say? It? it was, it was the first time round. Mm. You know, things were were obviously not going right. Things, it was testing, testing, striking. Right, but Cotton Street Project so, is we know what we're doing here now. We so, know what we're not, so, and we know what we're in. So on the Kingsway House one, it was a. To me, it was a crisis shelter. Yeah. It, it was never what this is, but it gave us the understanding of what this could be. Yes. Um, but with Kingsway, um, we had no choice but to open our doors, and as people filled in because they were freezing and they could have freezed to death, it was just one of those situations where, well, how do we stop? Where, where does, where's the humanistic play where you stop people from coming in? Yeah. So we, we understood that it was full of drugs. We understood it was full of issues on yeah. a day-to-day -day basis. But where do we draw the line? Who do we throw out? Yeah. And that was the problem with with with, uh, with Kingsway. It's hard to pick and choose. Yeah, right. Well, you couldn't pick and choose. I couldn't pick and choose. N no. So we just flowed with it. But then in the end, when we came to March, end of March, and we closed, that was a good time for us because the bad habits that were there, uh, we could stop. Yeah. And then when we picked it up again, as you can clearly see with Cotton Street, it ain't here. It blew me away. This yeah. when I when I landed here a week ago last Friday. It was more than what I expected. Great. Yeah, I, I'd seen the photos of it and I thought, yeah, that's mm. laughing, nice, mm. relaxed, colours, mm. lights, it's all nice and relaxed. Mm. When I got here, though, it was more than I expected. Mm. These pods that were in, mm. these are cracking, Lawrence. Mm. 
You put this in the middle of a field for me and yeah. I'd be happy, man. Yeah, sure. These are cracking. They're just like a little self-contained mm. flat. You can't ask for anything more. No. And, and everyone seems to get on really well, don't they? Yeah, we're, we're, it's, we're like a little family. Yeah. If we've got a problem, we'll yeah. sit down and we'll talk about it yeah. to each other. There's no stabbing each other in the back. No. We all try and work with each other yeah. here because upstairs here is a place where people are here to change. Yeah. And if they don't want to change, then they can go downstairs. Sure. But for me, upstairs here is change. Yeah. I'm 43 years old. I've lost a leg through drugs. Yeah. I stopped the drugs. I, I, I was kind of forced to give up the drugs when I lost the leg, mm. which was a good thing. But now I'm back using again after losing the leg. Now this is last chance scenario for me. Yeah, I've absolutely. got to make this work. People say to me, the likes of Brian and Dave or Keith and other people say, Mark, you're not letting anyone down but yourself if you don't, if mm. you fail this. Maybe, but in my head, I'm letting the likes of you down, Lawrence. Mm. I'm letting the likes of Dave down, Brian down, Sean down. I'm letting a lot of people down. Man, so the, most of all yourself. Yeah, yeah most, maybe most of all myself, mm. but to me, I see it different. But what I'm mm. getting at is that it's not letting no one down here no. for me. If I don't get this done, then I may as well go and put myself in a wooden box. Yeah. Because this is last chance scenario, and I'm taking it with both hands. Great, thank you. All right. OK, Mark, do you want to give me your full name? Mark Anthony Clutton. And have you been here now for a month? Just near on a month, yes. And how's it going? Great. Um, I'll start by saying that um, my drug use, one of the reasons I'm here is to stop the drug use. Um, I was using between 10 and 12 bags of each a day. That's a bag of heroin and a bag of crack. Um, I'm down to between one bag of heroin and a bag of crack a day. That's amazing. Um, and I've managed that in four weeks, which is, um, to me, that's good. That's great. Um, I don't know, but there's a photo of me two weeks ago with big long hair, the big beard. Mm. If, now here I am, I've got short hair, no beard. I'm clean and tidy. I feel good, um, and I got people saying you look good, and that just gives me that little bit more confidence. And being here has given me that bit more confidence. Um, it's got me off the street. I feel safe here as well. Uh, and how many times have you begged in the last month? At most six. Six times. Uh, Whereas before you'd have begged every single ev day. Every day, all day. And how's your um, leg? How's my leg? How's your leg? It's. Not the best at the minute. It's swollen. Um, I've got an ulcer, um, and that isn't through me injecting in that leg or anything, because I don't. Not in the leg. Um, but I'm going up to Brownlow on Thursday because I'm hoping to get on Subitex. That'd be amazing. Um, so I'll get the doctor to have a look at this at the same time, and hopefully he can help me in some way. You know antibiotics, cream, and whatnot. Um, again, I had a load of cuts all over my hand. As you can see, the cuts have near enough healed. Um, and that's due to being here, and you're clean. due to keeping clean and tidy. Um, and eating, so I feel healthier as well, you know. Um, and overall, you're happy with being here? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, 100% happy. Um, I just, I can't, for, for me, this is last chance opportunity, like I've said, and uh, being here, I'm happy being here because I know there's opportunities in front of me that I can take and I can work with and get my life back to normal and not wake up in the morning thinking, where am I going to get my tenner from this morning or who am I going to score up this morning? wake up and think, right, I've got to get to work this morning, yeah? Uh, but my main, one of my main goals as well is to get a prosthetic, yeah? Yeah, sure. Well, that's, that's what keeps me positive every day, is knowing that I will be able to walk again. And then... Well, I'm sure we can help you with that. For me, for me, that's, that's a big, big thing. Walk again. We'll go for that. I will do. I know I will.